One of the coolest movie moments ever is this super high speed shot from X-Men Days of Future Past and the behind the scenes story of how they filmed it is wild. In it, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine travels back to the 70s to save the world and he meets Quicksilver. They use his super speed to break Magneto out of the Pentagon. And even though it all looks like it was CGI and visual effects, most of it was actually shot in real life using clever camera work and practical effects. All the metal objects that get flung into the air by Magneto are simply attached to a string. They made the water look frozen because it was all shot at super high speeds. They then slowed that down even more in post-production. All of this was done to show that Quicksilver could travel 150 times faster than regular humans. They then put Evan Peters on another stage to get the close-ups. For this, they really just had him running on a treadmill. They'd then pour water on him and use a wind machine to get those ripples on his skin. They then had his stunt double try to run up the side of a wall without a harness. They photoshopped the stunt double's legs onto Evan Peters' top half of his body. Outside of that, the CGI and visual effects that you actually see in the scene are when Evan Peters tastes the soup, and when they needed to make the raindrops flow behind him while he was running. 